Welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, we will create radar chart. Radar chart, also known as a spider chart, web chart, or polar chart, is a graphical method of displaying multivariate data. It is a two-dimensional chart that consists of multiple variables, typically three or more, represented on axes radiating from a central point. The length of each spoke represents the magnitude of the variable for that data point. The data points are then connected to form a polygon, which helps to visualize the relationships between the different variables. Radar charts are easy to create and understand. They are used to display a large amount of data in a relatively small space. This radar chart is displaying the quantity of apples, bananas, cantaloupe, dates, and grapes, sold at three different stores, Store A, Acme Store, and Shop C. Let me explain one fruit. For example, bananas. Bananas are the best-selling fruit in Store A, with a quantity of 55. Then, 39 at Acme Store, and 30 at Shop C. Let's create this radar chart together. Create a new page. Select the chart option. Followed by the radar option. The provided SQL query is combining data from the two tables, EBA Demo Chart Products, aliased as A, which holds the product information, and the EBA Demo Chart Orders, aliased as B, which holds the order details. To create these tables, you can watch the video provided in the info card. Then it selects the following columns. A product name retrieves the product name from the EBA Demo Chart Products table. B Quantity, retrieves the ordered quantity from the EBA Demo Chart Orders table. B Customer, retrieves the customer name from the EBA Demo Chart Orders table. Where clause, A Product ID equals B Product ID, links orders to their corresponding products using a common product ID. The customer equals Store A narrows the result to orders placed by the customers in Store A. Next. For the label column property, the column selected is used for defining the labels on the edges of the radar chart. Selecting the quantity column for the value column property, will display the quantity values inside the chart. A maximize button, resembling a square with diagonal arrows, appears in the region's title bar. Users can click this button to expand the region, to occupy the full width and height of the available space within its parent container. The number entered in maximum width and height fields, defines a fixed width and height for the chart region. To enable the automatic resizing of the chart width and height, leave these fields empty. The width is then automatically set to 100% of the region, and the height is then based upon the height of the browser. Enabling the show switch, renders a legend on the chart. Selecting None option, the chart will not enable the hide and show behavior, when clicking on a legend. 
rename the default series, and change it to store A, to match the name store A, provided in the SQL query. Specify whether the quantity labels should be rendered inside the chart. Create the following series. A series represents a distinct set of data points that are visualized together on the chart. It's a fundamental building block for creating meaningful and informative visualization. Replace store A, and assign a descriptive name to each series for clarity and legend identification. These all series are of the line type. Make sure that the series name must match the name in the SQL query. Major ticks, larger lines extending from the central axis towards the radar chart's outer perimeter. Typically placed at larger intervals along the scale of the data variable being measured. Major ticks refer to the larger and more prominent markings in the X and Y axis of the chart. They play a crucial role in visually communicating the scale and divisions of the data being presented. The lighter and the shorter lines interspersed between the major ticks, are minor ticks, placed at smaller intervals within the major tick marks. They usually don't have labels unless the chart requires a very detailed view. Save and run the page, to test the radar chart. In the starting of the video, one specific fruit was explained. Now, let's take one specific store. For example, Shop C. The best selling fruit in Shop C, is cantaloupe, with a quantity of 50. Then, second best selling item of Shop C, is dates, with a quantity of 46. Grapes 36. Apples 34. The least selling fruit of Shop C, is bananas, with a quantity of 30. That's all for now. Hold on to your curiosity, there is many more exciting content coming soon, in the chart video series. Thanks for watching the video.